All right, Nate. So most important segment of the show, Chan Cam. Where's our man Chan Cam this week? Well, the Corn Fairy Tour. I actually had a dream this morning about Chan Cam. Um, and I had a dream that he got a sponsor's invite into the Rocket Mortgage Classic. And I remember seeing him in the field bus in my dream. And I thought, oh, my God, we finally arrived. This is it. <laughs> We're here. And then, and then I woke up. Um, and I, the dream was so vivid that I went through the field list. Very, very detailed. He's not in it. Um, so the Corn Ferry Tour is moving this week to Springfield, Illinois. Um, notable, notably producing Abraham Lincoln. Uh, they'll be at Panther Creek Country Club for the what is the tournament called? It is the Memorial Health Championship at Panther Creek Country Club in Springfield, Illinois. Uh, Chanimal will be there. There's really no weeks off in the Corn Ferry Tour. Those guys just pretty much play every week. So, and he's still kind of on the outside looking in. We're still sitting at 41st in points. Top 20 get their eligibility for the PGA Tour. So we need some good starts. But, you know, he's been playing reliable. He had another top 25. He's finished in the top 25 in like half of his tournaments this year. He just hasn't really been able to notch the really high-end finishes, only getting one top 10, no top fives or wins. So, you know, another week, another uh, opportunity for Channel to do something incredible. Is he 40 to one? The, they haven't released the odds yet, but probably we'll have to check back. Yeah, we'll check back. I imagine he's 40 to one. Could be 38 to one. We'll see. Maybe someone hammered him down. You, I would imagine, Nate, if you put one bet, placed one bet on Chan Kim at 40 to one, just a $10 bet the next day, he'd be 39 to one. I, I almost guarantee If they would make that. that much impact on the market, it would just be like, oh, yeah. taking yeah. too much heat on Chan. Yeah, they'd be like, okay. <laughs> It's, we're over we're overexposed <laughs> too much leverage here we're over leveraged knock, on chan knock him down Just to 39 get some to action one. on somebody else yeah yeah we don't want to lose our ass on uh, on chan him here so uh let's try to get some other um some other guys in the mix so we'll see gotta love chan he's um you know playing about as well as he always does he's not exactly improving but he's not um not backsliding either so we'll we'll see yeah. with chan Okay, let's talk a little bit before we, we're about to talk um, Rocket Mortgage of the Detroit, Detroit Golf Club. Let's talk a little bit about Zach Blair, though. Um, this is a guy who finished T20, uh, or T2nd, I'm sorry, he finished second at the Travelers. He was playing on a medical exemption after battling mm -hmm. injuries for about two or three years, I believe, and used to be just an absolute beast on tour as uh, someone who you could always find some good value in until his injury. Um, so tell us a little bit about Zach Blair's game. What should we should expect from him in the future? If this is someone we should be looking out for in the markets. You know, I mean, he was, he had some good, good finishes years and years ago. I can remember him kind of coming up and everyone kind of thought that maybe he would be like, you know, the next big thing, you know, he won a corn fairy event in 2019. Um, and then he basically just, fell off the map after that um and he's been playing on more or less like a, a major like sort of extended medical um exemption so he gets some sort of limited exemptions there and yeah i mean he had a hell of a tournament he didn't really have that many tournaments left to really make an impact and he knew it was going to be close i mean he, he basically said as much in a in a presser they were like you know how are you handling this and he's like well it's probably gonna be close you know just do what you do um you know he's because he's a grinder i mean he's in his early 30s now he's been doing this for a long time um but it's definitely a feel-good story i don't know if he's like someone that i'm you know in a rush to just to back just because it seems like he's still competitively like a little bit rusty even though he looked awesome last week um but definitely someone like i'm gonna keep my eye on particularly on short courses i mean he's a little guy he doesn't hit it very far uh, he's only like five six 150 pounds he's a pretty small guy but um but he's always been sort of a good short course guy. So that would probably be where I did look for him, you know, maybe fill out some DFS lineups for cheap, that sort of thing. Yeah. And that's one of the things to really kind of look out for. If you're doing the DFS stuff, like I do, you've got to find some guys who you can get for cheap. Um, I kind of threw Sam Bennett on some of my, um, the amateur on some of my uh, DFS lineups this week, because oh, he's a pro now, week, baby. Yeah. Pro, um, but a cheap pro. 
Um, yeah. So I, you know, I, I, th- I've thrown him on a couple this week, just because you got to be able to find those guys who are cheap and uh, in a weak field, the guys who I could usually get for cheap, like Aaron Rye, Doug Gim, um, you know, some of those guys, maybe, uh, oh, Adam Hadwin, who I don't think is right for this course, but is kind of t- trending upward. Um, those guys are not cheap this week. So it, it has actually been kind of a challenge unless you like, like um, Grayson Sig or uh, Garrick Higo, those guys, Norman, um, those guys are always cheap. <laughs> yeah. They're <laughs> like those guys. They're cheap never for trending a reason. upward. Yeah. yeah, I can't uh I can't recommend anyone take Garrick Higo these days, but um I you know we'll see. All it takes is just one tweak in the swing, Nate, and Garrick Higo could be up there in the top 20. That's all he That's needs. All it just takes. one That's tweak. Takes. Just one tweak. Just <laughs> one. He's just just one little hitch. And I'll yeah. maybe plant his plant his right foot a little bit more and he's good to go. Uh no so problem. you know, look. Zach Blair is going to be um, fun to watch. Just keep an eye out for him. Cool story. He won over a million dollars this week. week. Yeah, there we go. So he's in the he's in the field. Yeah. Yeah. Too long of a course for him, but uh, but you know he's available. I suppose he won over a million dollars this week, which is the most he's won on tour in years. So uh, really, is kind of a cool story, and you know we should see. <laughs> 